Hey guys, Ryan the Fan Guy here. Here we have a Fanimation Huxley ceiling fan. Um, uh, this is a remake video. Well, I'm trying to angle the camera, but this is going to be a remake video because uh, I put my camera at a new angle and I think it would look better at a new angle. And also, I love this fan too, so I um, want to do another video of it, so. Anyways, this fan um, is actually my dream fan. I did find two pewter ones on Facebook Marketplace, and I'm hoping to get those sometime soon, too, because if I ever got the two pewter ones, but I don't know if I will get them, but if I ever did get the two pewter ones, I would probably um, keep one, and then maybe if I ever go to fan, maybe if I go to Fanimation and get my license someday, I'd probably donate one to the museum because I would love to donate some fans to the museum someday because Fanimation Huxley's are getting rare because some of because I know the hotel there's a hotel that used to have four of them that got removed um so anyways yeah so here's here's low And actually, also plus, plus V. Well, the ones at the the Homewood Suites in Alabama were were pewter. They got replaced with ugly looking light fixtures. But the ones in um, but the ones in the uh, at Disney World, the uh, Via Napoli restaurants, those ones are pewter too. Most of them are on low, but the one in the middle is stuck on medium. Probably, it runs on medium. And, they, and I think they go opposite directions. It's about it for low. It's medium. It does kind of hum. Although I am used to it because uh because uh I my family quad kind of hums too. And I actually saw some real estate listings with these too. I've seen a house in, in, in Indiana had one and put tickets to high. I've seen a house in California that had a couple of these and then a house with um, a pewter one. I've seen another pewter one in another house and yeah. These are kind of becoming hard to find now. So I figured the museum should have one too. The Fanimation Museum should have one. This fan does hang kind of low down here. So I can't, I will want to keep this fan up for a longer time, but I can't, but at the same time I can't because the ceilings are kind of low, the ceilings are kind of low. Close-up of it. Animation pull chain. Top view of it too. Oh, don't want to hit my head on it. So, looking at it from a top view kind of reminds me of like a cathedral. If it's on a slope ceiling from the top of the stairs, if you look at it from the top of the stairs, on a slope ceiling or on a cathedral ceiling. Well, some cathedral ceilings, you can't look at the fan from the top of the view. But some you can. 
or high or any high ceiling basically. But well, one thing about hanging fans on high ceilings, um, you spin down and reverse it. One thing about hanging fans on a high ceiling is um, they're hard to reach the pole chain. You have to have them on like a wall control or a remote. Some of them are even single speed. I, I, I just stuck on one set on one speed, like set to medium or low, and just use it just on off switch. I kind of don't like that. Or some of them just only run on high only. But I obviously think they should be on a wall control and have their chains removed and have their chains removed to high speed and hot wired or hot wired to high speed. Anyways, here is low reverse. I really love looking at this fan a lot. It just looks beautiful. I can't stop staring at it all day and all night. This is why in my future house, if it has like a sort of high ceiling, a point, a high ceiling where I can reach it, then I'm definitely, I'm definitely hanging this in the bedroom. But if it's a high ceiling, I'm gonna have to where I can't reach it. Then I have to like set the chain to high and just leave it in the switch cup and wire it to a wire it to a wall control or a remote. If I wired it to a wall control or a remote, I'd use a fan animation remote, fan sync remote or CW two wall control. Or CW1 if I'm using it without the light, or CW2 if I'm using the integrated Huxley light. So I'd love to find a Huxley light for this. Or a pewter one, because they look nice with, with a Huxley light. Some are similar to the Monte Carlo Star Tech, because it's kind of answering the Star Tech, because Stuff the Star Tech doesn't look like this. The Star Tech looks more like a star. The blades are a little more heavier. And it only comes in like brush in like steep brush steel. Like the Monte Carlo Star Tech, the LA kit was mostly optional. And the Star Tech had a remote too. Like this fan has like a light kit optional. And the Star Tech also has a light kit optional too. I would love to find a Monte Carlo Star Tech for my collection. Or at least the museum should have one too. And the Crestoria is the most rarest Monte Carlo fan. Just as rare as like the Casablanca California Gold. And I really want to find a Cali Gold for my collection. That's definitely one of the most valuable Casablancas. Anyways, here's high. But although there are, I know of a couple collectors that have a Cali Gold. Actual one. 24 karat gold. But I don't know. But I forgot who. I think he might one might be Math Rap. Matt Ray, maybe Jack Connor could have could have had one. I'm not sure though. Cause I've seen pictures of a real Cali Gold in this house, and I really love one. I really love one. Anyways, here's spin down reverse. So I want to try to start off with my favorite fan first for a New Angle remake. I want to do the Vios again, but the Vios will probably wait for 2023 to come before I do the Vios. Or the drone's a little hard to install, and I've already done the drone before, so. Maybe next for a remake video can possibly be the Air Duo. I know I can't do the Four Seasons, but this the Four Seasons is already in that spot. Now I like it there. I 
Anyways, that is it. That is the Fanimation Huxley Ceiling Fan. Thanks for watching. Enjoy, like, comment, and subscribe.